night I was calling Hulugapa and I asked Hulugapa, Hulugapa, please rush up to the Goshala. I was terrified sitting inside my cottage. I couldn't get her. I couldn't, I couldn't even get the guts to get her. I called Hulugapa, please rush up to the Goshala and pull down all the curtains down because it is shooting right. The left massive storm, the rain is shooting massive wind. It ripped open my windows. Yeah. I thought this uh, wind and the rain don't have windows in the houses. So they could have asked me, I could have given a window. But ripping and taking, the ripped and take, taken over. Terrified I couldn't come. And to a certain extent, I could find the, the, the wind. He tried to lift the roof of also. And I was shocked. Along with that, it is Kudukudu Minchu. In Kannada, Kudukudu Minchu. In English, Kudukudu Minchu means it is uh, thunder and lightning. Seeing that terrified, I couldn't go out. In the morning, I knew it might be a bad scene in the Goshala. I rushed up to Goshen, all the cows are happy, smiling. They got used to it. Not that most of them are tired. So I told them, please keep them far away if possible. Leave them while you are tight. Tight like this. And the Kudukudu Minju, the lightning was shooting the film. Plop, plop, plop. I could hear the lightning through the window. I was shocked. I closed the window. That is. And nothing happened to the birds, to my emu bird. She's alone sitting in the center of the garden. She refused to take shelter. And the cows, can you believe? That was the beauty of that power. And your friendship with nature, if you can understand that. Nobody in the world can touch you. No trees get scared seeing you. Tanks and your fighter jets bombing left and right, they don't run and hide. <laughs> Frank Lloyd Wright, born in June 1867, Wisconsin, in the United States of America, died on 9th April 1950 in Arizona, in USA, he was an American architect, a designer, writer, and educator. He designed more than 1,000 structures. Over a creative period of 70 years, Wright played a key role in the architectural movements of the 20th century. Influencing architects worldwide through his works and hundreds of apprentices in his Tennyson Fellowship. Wright believed in designing in harmony with humanity, harmony with humanity. And the environmental philosophy called organic architecture. Frank Lloyd Wright said, study nature, love nature, stay close to nature. It will never fail you. Never. The only problem the whole society is, is going through with the psychologists, with the hospitals, with the gurus, with the psalmists, with the temples, the churches, and much it is the fear of failure. And here Frank Lord Wright said, if you are stay close, if you stay close to nature, in the sense, what it means is whatever teacher teaches you in the class with the school and college students and teaches you, you take that particular chapter, what you learn on that particular day. And I have told you many times, you must go and practice, read a thousand times, gets imprinted every cell of your brain, and the time comes to no, 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 that is one part of the story. Now I'm telling you, take that particular thing and put it into your daily routine, your samskriti when you practice, when you give a helping hand to the mom in the kitchen, in the house, when you give a helping hand to your mom and dad who works in the garden, try to grow in some organic 
hands and try to find out Aditi Devo Baba when the rain will come. We don't know. So every time keep ready for the rain water to flow beautifully into a beautiful lotus pot and lotus bar or lotus wow and the mother and mommy together trying to find out when the wind comes open this side so the wind flows this side and that side and for the sunlight to enter from the eastern side you open the windows or your curtains up and for sunlight to sell, fall in the center of your house and when it goes on your western side the sunlight falls on the western side inside the window that understanding the nature of your daily studies is the study of nature. Studying nature is like you studying God and when you study God you become a lover of God and God always loves you. That was what Frank Lord of White said, study nature. Yes. You become studious when you study. Studious, yes. And love nature, study nature. When you study, means you love fall in love. Because in study, when you when you are in conscious state of studying, conscious state of studying is putting it into practical knowledge. Yes. When you study a thousand times, maybe it becomes a what uh, blown by heart. It gets imprinted every cell of the brain, and you talk like a preacher, but not a practitioner. We want practitioners. Practitioners are the real lovers. Not hit and run cases. Fragment writes it, study nature, love nature, stay close to nature. That's what I'm telling. Please, you and your book, you not to move out. Together, together, yes, you, daddy and mom, and the children sit bound to bound, yes, to have the food from one plate, yes. Take baths together at the same time. Comb the hair. Yes. Even if your brother has put a button on the shirt, you still go and collect it. When mommy makes pull your cheek, you yes. continue the interaction without the break. That is stay closer to nature. What Frank Lloyd Wright said, and it has been said by all the messengers in the world that Christian messengers or Hindu messengers of God or Muslim messengers of God, everybody talked to you. This is one stay close to nature, it will never fail. It has never failed. He doesn't know the language of fear. The first world war came, second world war came. They could don't fail the wind coming. Revolutions after revolutions happened to become capitalist and communism. It couldn't fail the wind and the rain and the sun. I too. Many missionaries came to convert them into the Christian religion, to the Muslim religion, to the Hindu religion, but they couldn't convert or fail the rain, water, and the sunlight. Think of it. Then when you become the sunlight, and you are the sunlight because you are a deeper for your lover and your mother. You are a deeper for your husband. You are a deeper means a light to your children. Yes. So you are sunlight. When you are sunlight, who can fail you? You are the wind who can fail. Nobody can hold, the, catch the wind and possess them. Nobody can catch the wind, uh, catch the sun and possess it and put it in the cupboard and lock it up because so nobody will say, This is my sunlight. This is my wind. This is my rainwater. Maybe water you can hold it for some time, but not the, the light. Light attends to so many. Beautiful stories when you penetrate, this is so many beautiful colors penetrating, and it is orgasmic experience. As long as you got sectories, you are mixed with organic experience, enlightenment is thy name. You are the truth, you are the God.